Hello there, my crafty little buggers, and welcome back to my messy apartment. Also, welcome to another episode of Crafty's Quick Builds. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a dice tray from a simple gift box. What you need is a gift box, such as this one. This is 14.5 centimeters in width, and that's pretty much a good size to start off making your dice tray. Now this one comes with a lid and that's exactly what I'm going to use to make a dice box slash dice tray. Now because the lid fits perfectly I'm going to use that and simply cut this box using the lid as a ruler. So without further ado let's just do this. Okay, I know that this is going to need some extra cuts and some of you watching this may be thinking that I'm insane and you're most probably right because I'm not doing this the way it should be done but I think that you will eventually forgive me because it's going to be a nice little addition to your gaming table. Now this gift box is a very thick cardboard box and it's really sturdy so I'm not afraid of using it for a dice tray and of course a dice box as well. Yeah, now you may have noticed that I managed to cut myself. Just don't tell my parents, please, because they will freak out. Old people, hearts gonna explode or something like that. Now, yeah, I did um, cut this box through anyways. But all right, this side is now, well, really coarse. And I need to sand it down a little bit. And I intend to do that with some sandpaper strips I just need to find where I left them oh all right here they are so I'm just gonna sand it down just a little bit nothing special just make them feel a little bit loved and that's pretty much it yeah don't worry about being tidy because it's gonna end up being a mess anyway. So, now that I have this cut, you can leave it like this. I mean, we can take a set of dice and put it inside and it's gonna look just fine, I guess. But, that's not my intention. I don't want to stop there. Yep, you see, it fits, it's a snug fit, it fits perfectly. And yeah, I didn't think about this, but I will have to make a notch or something because you will need to be able to open it somehow. Even though you can use your fingers, but yeah, it needs some more love, some more extra love. Now, as I said, you can do it, you can just leave it like this, but I recommend doing something extra which is this now this is textured self-adhesive paper and uh, this is a pigskin texture which I intend to use to cover this box <laughs> This is a snug fit, so I am going to need to cut it out a little bit more. But let's just do it, I guess. Let's see how much 
do I need to talk to the world? With this part you will have to be really careful because this is what you want to do properly. Don't let any air bubbles remain inside. So just drag your fingers as you slowly unstick it. Drag them over the width of this paper. So, yep. This is looking good so far. need something else because this is going to be the rolling tray. Yeah, does it fit? Yeah, it still fits. All right, let's take it out now. Come on, out, out, out with you. All right, okay. So, I have this piece of felt cloth that I intend to cut like so because I need it to be a snug fit so I just do it with the ruler instead of this So, this is the final test fitting to see if everything works well and just which side to turn things on, just for the best possible fit. I think this should be fine, this should be the best option. Yeah, I guess this is it, so let's just try to roll some dice inside it. Ha! <laughs> Perfect. Love it. I love it how it turned out. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome! Work. 
it's a really, really snug fit because the box itself was a snug fit. So let me just try and fix this one. So here we go, a dice box slash dice tray, a really snug fit and a thing that you can use for your dice rolling experience. Let's just do this one more time. See, quick, fun and easy. It took me about one and a half, two hours to build this. So there you go. Now, as always, I will thank you for watching and avert your attention towards my social media like Instagram and Facebook. And also make sure to check out my Patreon page for some cool gifts and some really nice stuff, Patreon specials. And of course, it gives you the opportunity to join the Crafty Buggers League. And as always, this is Crafty and I bid you Farewell.